After critically acclaimed sellout seasons in Edinburgh and London, she's bringing her one woman family drama, The South Africans, back to New Zealand. Please welcome back to the Cafe of the Star and writer, the gorgeous Robin Patterson. Hello. Hi, Robin. <laughs> Oh. Now, last time you were here it was just before Renter's Tantrum hit the stage. Mm. How did that go? Yeah, very well. Yeah, very well received and so much fun to do. So quite sad that that job's over. Well, rather than sit around and do nothing, you're doing this. <laughs> this is a story about these, the South Africans. It's based on your mum and dad's story by them immigrating here. Is that right? Yes. So I play my mum and my dad, both of them at the same time. And it's uh, based on our immigration from South Africa to New Zealand in the early 90s. So we did immigrate in 94. That was my brother, myself and my parents. And yeah, it's kind of all around surrounding the ideas of home and displacement and, and belonging. Okay, and well, why did you, uh, I mean, why, why did the family want to move here? Um, New Zealand's seen as a bit of a mecca, <laughs> or was in the early 90s to a lot of South Africans. And um, my, yeah, like Mandela was coming up into power at that time, and I don't think anybody really knew how it was going to go. And, you know, my parents had very young children, and my father just kind of decided that it was for the best to kind of to, to make the move. So he was deciding between Perth and Hamilton and got offered a job in Hamilton, so we immigrated to Hamilton. Oh, wow. And so they didn't come and check it out first? They just decided just to just do it straight away? Uh, no, my father came out in the 1970s as a Rotary Exchange student and loved it. And my father was a rugby coach for years and so obviously, you know, loved um, New Zealand's attitude towards sport and things like that. And so, yeah, just thought it would be a really great place to, to bring up kids. Who was more keen to move here, your mum or your dad? In, in the play, it is portrayed that my mother tricks my father into coming to New Zealand, but in reality, it was a, it was a joint decision. Right. So a bit of poetic yeah. licence, we're saying. Yeah, a lot of creative licence mm. um, has been taken, especially in regards to the characters, to my mother's and father's characters. But you do have some tough themes, don't you, um, of not fitting in, all that sort of thing. Mm. Um, it, but you make it a comedy as well. Yeah, um, it is humorous. I mean, moving to another country, there's a lot of miscommunication, there's, you know, and times like that are quite funny when you are just talking past each other. Um, but the feelings of displacement and not belonging, I think, are very relevant and very real for a lot of immigrants. And so there are those underlying themes, so it's not just a kind of comedy show. OK, so you... Uh, obviously, it's a one-woman show. Mm -hmm. um, so do you play both your mum and your dad? Is that what you do? Yes, I do. So I flick between them. It's a monologue performed as a geologue, so I'm constantly... Can you, give us, can you give us a little shot, like a little go at it, or is this too difficult? And how do you not get them confused? Um, <laughs> it's just... It's almost like learning a dance. Um, yeah, you know, when I talk with my father, I really talk, talk down here, and it's a real, you know, heavy Afrikaner accent. Yeah, you know, and then my mom, she really talks like this. So when my mom is talking to my dad, she's talking like this. Helena, no, man, but let me talk. I'm talking to these people. Cool, I want to talk as well. So now I'm talking <laughs> to you as this. Yeah, so oh, it's, just, love it. it's just like that. It's just, yeah. Do you practice in the car? Because you must look like a complete weirdo. If yeah, you do. do. It's just I like, know. I practice that woman at the lights. I practice away from prying eyes. <laughs> no one can see me. Yeah. So critically acclaimed of the show and mm. you know a lot of rave reviews but what about the reviews of mum and dad what do they think i have never been more nervous in my entire life than doing this show for them i bet but they they loved it yeah they came to edinburgh last year to support which was amazing but and did, did you run it past them before you just did it on stage or did you just keep it a secret and then just get them into the theater <laughs> <laughs> well, it started as a 10-minute version in the 2012 Short and Sweet Festival, and I didn't let them see the script, and that was... I was so I nervous. Because you have to say, poetic licence, Mum Dad, it's not exactly you. Yeah, of course, and I have to just say it's inspired by you. It's, you know, you just inspire the characters. It's not totally based on you. Um, but they did come and see the full the hour-length show in Edinburgh, and they, I think mm. they're secretly chuffed at being, like, immortalised. Yeah. So, so you've lived here. You lived in South Africa, obviously, mm. and also you lived in the London, UK for a while. Yeah. So where do you feel most at home? I feel like the older I get, the more home lies in the people that I surround myself with. When I was younger, it really lay in places. When I'd mm. go back to a place, I'd feel like I'd really come home. But now I find if I go to my hang out with my family or specific friends or partners, I just kind of that's where I feel like I'm most at home. Aww. So, yeah, it's I think a it's a beautiful different. answer, oh. isn't it? <laughs> totally didn't rehearse that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's true. I do feel that home more lies in people. Mm. OK, so clearly you love New Zealand, mm. but is there anywhere else you want to be? You, you want to be cheating off too soon to try? No, I feel, coming back, because I only just got back recently from London, um, I do feel coming back here is the the place that I want to be, so right. I don't have any plans to run away anytime soon. So you've got the South Africans, mm -hmm. what's next for you after this? 
Um, there's some pretty exciting things in the pipeline. Um, so it's just kind of... You're going to do the actory thing, aren't you, where you say, I can't tell you anything just yet? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's pretty much the generic okay, well, Does it involve stage or does it involve screen? Can I say both? Oh, yeah. OK. Ooh. There you go. Mm. <laughs> okay. Does it involve <laughs> travel? <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, okay, it's all right. being based here. So something television-based or movie-based here in New Zealand? Just keep your eyes out, Mike. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Get her afterwards. Don't worry, yeah, we'll grill it. We won't let her out of the studio without finding out exactly what's going on. Oh, well, it sounds really exciting. Looking yeah. forward to it. The South Africans. Uh, it's going to be playing at Auckland's Basement Theatre from tomorrow night to Saturday. For tickets, you can go to iticket.co.nz. Thank you so much. Are your mum and dad going to come along again? Yeah, they'll be there opening night. Excellent. Front row. You can look out for them. Yeah.